Доброго дня усім. Good Дякую, afternoon. Я ще раз Thank попрошу закрити двері, будь ласка, щоб нас не відволікали. Please close the door. Дуже. Thank you so much. Доброго дня, шановні учасники. Доброго дня всі ті, хто з нами онлайн через трансляцію. Вітаємо вас на офіційному запуску міжнародної версії єдиного експортного веб-порталу. Translation. My name is Maria Shevchunk. I am the advisor to the director of the State Enterprise Office for Development of Entrepreneurship Experts. Our event is devoted to the launch of the single English version of the portal. Such instruments are presented by the, in the countries, in almost all countries, and agencies for trade and economy use them to enter international markets. The portal consolidates all information which could be helpful either exporters or foreign importers who are seeking for the partners in Ukraine. Our export web portal, by the way, Ukrainian Russian was launched back in December uh, in cooperation on the platform Dear Business for st on the strategic institutional support of uh, Ukrainian government, Ministry of Economy and Ukraine and Ministry of Digital Transformation and Deutsche uh, Gesellschaft uh, for International Zusammenarbeit. Our speakers would be Alexander Yarema, the State Secretary of the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine, Talas Kachka, Deputy Minister of uh, Economy, Trade and Agriculture, uh, also Dmitro Senek, Deputy Minister of, of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, and also uh, Armin uh, Andrei Litvin, uh, uh, acting director for Office of Department Department of uh, Entrepreneurship and Experts, and also um, Andrei Remizev, deputy director of Office for Development of Entrepreneurship Expert, and also Benjamin Mr. Benjamin Klinker from GIZ. So, uh, Mr. Yarema, your floor, the floor is yours. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. We are presenting the English uh, version of the portal, and it will enable Ukrainian uh, companies to promote themselves and also to enter foreign markets. Uh, obviously, it is only the first step, and uh, we will, in the nearest future, we will have uh, also German version and other language version um, of the portal. Uh, the world is global and everybody uses internet and it is one of the most universal way to pr of promoting. Just recently the decision was um, made on establishing, or I would say, reformatting of the state enterprise, which is currently named State um, Enterprise for Development of uh, Entrepreneurship and Expert. And we can see already the results and uh, of synergy, which we in, uh, who managed to, uh, uh, to engage our colleagues from other agencies and ministries. And actually, it is a very good uh, sign and uh, demonstration how the uh, government uh, jointly with the business sector could uh, help development of new culture, uh, entrepreneurship culture, because we all are aware that if we, if we just look at uh, the results of the surveys, many young people would like to 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 uh, develop their own primaries, but uh, when they were asked whether they would develop their companies, they, we would have much less uh, positive answers. So we should support them in their first steps, and that's why, and because of pandemic, different programs were launched by the Ukrainian governments. I would mention the program Affordable Credit, five cent, 5.17, and uh, we have provided uh, loans for more than 62 billion grievances, uh, also more than 5 billion grievances 
who were uh, he allocated to support different business initiatives. Uh, what is important uh, is that such uh, projects uh, are synchronized, and currently we have a very innovative program, which is DA Business. Uh, its uh, representative offices are open in different Ukrainian regions, and it is very. It has had a very positive feedback and a great expectations because it is a very it provide the the the, the needed information uh, for the people who would like to go into business but don't know how to do the first steps. So our common objective is to support them, to help them, and uh, with our today's uh, event. Uh, I would say that it, it would uh, be better that uh, our support is provided not only within the, within the country but also at, in the national international level, and that is uh, that is uh, the main objective of our uh, platform. Oh, that's congratulations to all of us with uh, this uh, important step forward, and uh, fortunately. And hopefully, we'll have a lot of uh, events to share our successes. And our next speaker is Valeria Ioannan, Deputy Minister of Digital Transformation. Good afternoon. The, uh, actually, uh, last year, uh, or even in the end of uh, 2019, we launched Dear Business Portal. And last year, we actually launched uh, the first export portal on DA business. It's, it is not one of uh, of the uh, numerous sites, but a one-stop shop for enterprises and entrepreneurs uh, uh, where uh, they could get all the information to uh, uh, to uh, to start experts, all analytics, help desk uh, consultations, and we are happy to report that during last year, more than one million entrepreneurs uh, used our portal. I would like to congratulate all of us, actually, with the um, launch of the single uh, English version of the word. Portal. I would like to um, emphasize that it is not just the translation of the Ukrainian version, but we created the new version for international businesses. We explained why Ukraine should be uh, selected as a, uh, as a partner. Brand materials, calendar of business events in Ukraine, catalog of Ukrainian exporters in English, contacts of Ukrainian authorities related to business and trade, all this information is available on the portal. Dear uh, business expert of UA, you can just go uh, use this link right now and get all more information. This portal would be the contact point for for, uh, for the foreign exporters and businesses in Ukraine. And it is in digital environment. Due to the international version of the export portal, both ex importers and exporters would get positive impression of Ukraine as modern country open to the international train. It, it would help promotion to international sectors and uh, develop uh, trade. It would also help our Ukrainian companies to search uh, clients, customers, and partners abroad. This is the two-way road. So we, I uh, f f invite all of you to use the dear business and all the opportunities that are created by the by the government uh, uh, today and let's develop our country together next one is uh, Taras Kachka, deputy minister of economy trade and agriculture i would good afternoon i would like to draw attention to uh, our 
policy of development, government policy for development of the economy in Ukraine. And this portal is one of the achievements that proves that we are developing not very fast, but we, f- we are going forward. It is um, the new approach to the uh, to the using internet. The initiative that emerged within the government with regard to dear business and to integrating different initiatives, uh, sometimes quite exo- exotic, like promoting export, but in jointly with the. Um, Uh, government uh, uh, services uh, through dear city it is quite a unique product which would uh, get its uh, very nice niche both in Ukrainian business environment and also for promoting Ukraine. This uh, two, one and a half years of pandemic uh, taught us not to be very cautious with regard to social distance and washing hands, but also we became close to the international community uh, and all the activities uh, to support the SM business, so we can see that digital skills are really the most uh, demanded one. We have uh, statistics when we're talking about our exports to the USA, uh, then we can see that digital services uh, dominate there. On the other side, the government in 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 uh, the in the uh, is uh, changing its approach to the trade in terms of shifting from classic approach and uh, for example uh, in marketplace we have uh, one uh, i was surprised with the, with the figure of 100,000 ukrainians uh, trading there and it is uh, and all this every, um, all this trade is not reflected in a ukrainian Experts volume because it is uh, quite often it is just private uh, postal uh, sendings. So this the current portal we are launching today it is uh, quite a very nice very nice uh, initiative it uh, joined all the initiatives in in uh, digital area and it is one of the very supportive and helpful instruments usually sites created with, uh, with the support of uh, international Um, support as a site are quite uh, awkward and uh, they are not operative quite often so it is not about the site itself but what uh, it how it can be used and this one can be very helpful uh, as a business card of ukraine as a country as a business partner uh, and every So it is. Uh, it is really uh, very important to know what is uh, what are the legal requirements, what are the permission required for trade, uh, uh, for in, in order to start business cooperation with the Ukrainian partners. So. Uh, In business-to-business contacts, uh, it is usually a conversation of two private uh, persons and any support in English version about uh, the statistics and reference materials, it really uh, makes these relations uh, quite close in a short time and it is really a very good support to all people who are engaged in online presentation of Ukraine or in any exhibitions or negotiations. Actually, the added value of the portal is that it it exists in the environment that we are currently developing with the new infrastructure and helps not only government authorities, but also small and medium enterprises in their everyday operational uh, life. Because uh, 
maybe uh, f f each small uh, company is not very much visible in Ukrainian statistics, but uh, if a huge army of them would uh, transform the operations in a big input into Ukrainian exports. So this, is, uh, this platform is one of the elements that proves that uh, and demonstrated that uh, our country is a very good place for the for the for production of many different uh, products uh, thank you thank you i would like to add that um, when our specialists started developing in terms of reference we uh, explored different uh, or examined different best practices in ukraine and to try to adapt them to ukrainian reality so that uh, the instruments that are developed in other countries uh, would be available in ukraine and our next speaker would be benjamin klinker he is the director of cluster of economic uh, uh, development in Ukraine, uh, GIZ. I'm very proud that in this framework we could work together and establish the web portal that we are launching today for the international project. A special thank goes to the Ministry of Economy of Ukraine, to the Ministry of Digitalization and the Entrepreneurship and Export Promotion Agency, which we have worked very trustfully and tirelessly with to make this happen. Let me also thank all the people who pay attention today to this event, to the embassies, to journalists, and everyone will help bring the information to the end users of the portal that are Ukrainian, but also foreign, small and medium-sized enterprises. Even though the first steps toward this web portal have been made before the pandemic, the situa situation we are now in, an online tool as the web portal gains specific importance. In times where traveling has been made more difficult, where trade fairs are canceled or postponed and individual business meetings have become harder to make, the export web portal is a good tool to gather trade information, to establish business contacts, and to finally revive trade, increase national exports of Ukraine, and support business to enter the market. The portal will offer interested international companies also full support in finding partners in Ukraine, as well as up-to-date information on necessary steps to start cooperation. Particularly, Ukrainian small and medium-sized enterprises to take advantage of this tool and to explore new economic I would also like to add a few words how this fits together with other initiatives that we have been implementing within our projects of trade promotion and SME promotion financed by the German government and by the European Union. We have been strongly supporting the implementation of Ukraine's national export strategy. The result we present today is one part of that, and we stand ready to continue our cooperation with our partners from the government of Ukraine and from the private sector to profit. We are supporting the removal of technical and administrative barriers to trade, especially in the framework of the implementation of the association agreement with the EU. And in this respect, informing and enhancing the private sector to take use of these opportunities is again We are cooperating with local and regional initiatives from the public and from the private sector to improve ecosystems and support structures for small and medium-sized enterprises to grow and to internationalize. In this respect, I would like to highlight the initiative COVID-19 Business Clinics, which offers businesses from all 24 regions of Ukraine trainings and consultations to develop their own business and to grow out of the pandemic. The export web portal we are launching today is another comprehensive addition to the support framework of SMEs in Ukraine. Once more, many thanks to the Ukrainian government and to all involved institutions, as well as the German government for its funding. I wish you all that this will be a sustainable and long-lasting success. Thank you very much. Thank you, Benjamin. Our next speaker will be also uh, online, and it will be Dmitro Senik, Deputy Minister 
Доброго дня. Мене чути, тому що я вас якось загубив. Чути? Хитніть головою. Yes, yes. Добрий день. А, шановні друзі, колеги, даруйте, що ми сьогодні в цифровому варіанті, але, зрештою, ми представляємо цифровий продукт. І я вітаю всіх із запуском нового важливого цифрового інструменту розвитку вітчизняного експорту «Потенціал», який буде на вході нашого Digital instrument which would be helpful to our business, hopefully small and medium. And here I can see the synergy with our work of our Ukrainian diplomats abroad. So what is the role? I will start with the important point that the president and the government clearly specified the areas of development of the Ministry of Foreign affairs and one of them is supporting Ukrainian business and it was uh, specified in um, Mr. Koleba's uh, uh, policy. Our uh, area is to support three areas uh, in uh, engaging investment, in uh, increasing export and engaging um, tourists. Actually, it is the, there is not something new in that, but it seems that uh, currently Ukrainian dip diplomats use new uh, instruments to support our business. What do we do to support and uh, um, uh, our to support uh, Ukrainian experts? In uh, the recent 18 months, the ministry. He established cooperation with the business association present in the major expert markets and currently we are trying to uh, develop the priority areas of exports of uh, goods and uh, uh, services we also launched uh, the uh, request uh, um, processing system and we are ready to provide any consultations uh, on, on that, and we launched an online briefing of uh, the embassy, uh, ambassador with regard to entering new markets. By the way, our uh, Council of Importers and Investors uh, currently is currently working in a new way, and we added five new versions, including in Arabian and Chinese. Versions and we also uh, introduced KPIs and experts is one of uh, them of uh, the major ones. My colleagues from the ministries uh, could support that we have simplified our reporting and documentations and this in, while enhancing. Uh, um, our coordination with other agencies and uh, ministries. We, in, we increased uh, the number of positions uh, for uh, economy, for economy and experts, and uh, we invite uh, everybody who would like to to work for uh, in 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 uh, our uh, embassies in Ukrainian embassies abroad. Uh, in economy and trade. We also improved our communication uh, with uh, uh, the participants of the today's events and other stakeholders in order to save money. And to summarize, I'd say that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, the government are really changing. And while before promotion activities was more reactive, Currently, it is proactive and systemic, and our objective is to find opportunities for Ukrainian business even in the most challenging situation and uh, to be um, supportive for our business on the ground, let's say abroad, and uh, Ukrainian embassies that are deeply dived in the specific of the local markets uh, and, uh, and the knowledge of regulatory, local regulations, uh, we are at your service and uh, with our friends uh, with our colleagues we uh, help we, we wish uh, all the best to the new instrument thank you
Thank you, Mr. Dmitro. I would like to add that one of the major objectives of the English version of the portal is uh, providing sub um, support to foreign companies who are searching for Ukrainian partners. So they can find uh, the catalog of Ukrainian exporters. And our next speaker would present the whole functionality of the um, portal. Andrei Litvin, the floor is yours. Thank you. Good afternoon, dear guests, dear friends and colleagues. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to the Ministry of uh, Economy, Ministry of Digital Transformation, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, because jointly we develop synergy and support um, our businesses. In December 2020, with the financial support of German government through GIZ, the single expert web portal, the version for Ukrainian exporters, where we consolidated all available information from all available sources with regard to exports. We also made all services digital for Ukrainian and accessible for Ukrainian entrepreneurs. Today, we are launching the English version. The development of the single expert web portal is the paramount uh, event, and it is uh, uh, monitored by the presidential office. So the single expert portal is very important and um, interesting portal which uh, helps uh, Ukrainian exporters to diversify their activities. So what is the objective? The major objective is promotion of the key priority uh, Ukrainian sectors. I'd like to tell you why is it important. Pro I would tell that later. Next one, promotion of uh, Ukrainian events, and then providing support to Ukrainian companies in entering foreign companies and also to foreign companies uh, engage in uh, uh, experts who are searching for potential partners in Ukraine. So, what challenges usually business face? First is the lack of reliable and objective information. Here we are looking from the point of view of potential exporter from abroad. Uh, or th the, they cannot find the reliable information about Ukrainian manufacturers. They cannot enter the Ukrainian registers, which are in Ukraine. They cannot review the information or registration data or to, to see whether uh, there, there are some negative feedbacks about the company. This is one of the major challenges the foreign exporters face. The, the the second one is that um, actually the pandemic uh, showed us that uh, digital is uh, the best way to seek uh, uh, partners. Currently, 96% of B2B uh, 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 finding the potential partners. Well, before online exhibitions were one of the Im major way to find potential uh, partners. Currently, it is very limited resource and online instruments are priority. The next problem is uh, the um, limited information about Ukraine. If we search through Google about Ukraine, in English, you will find either very few information or it is out of date. Usually, it is PDF brochures for certain events. There is no uh, up-to-date information. For example, on the World Bank uh, portal, you can find the key, uh, key, key, key indicators, but they are for the whole economy. Uh, and uh, no indicators for the sectors or subsectors. No information is available on the market itself. How uh, we deal with this 
problem. Today we launch the digital instrument with the governmental support, which is free for Ukrainian and foreign users. We gathered together all the up-to-date information to deal with the mentioned challenges. It is one of the effective networking instrument which would enable to connect both Ukrainian businesses and foreign businesses. Who, who would uh, who, whom would uh, who would benefit from the port portal? First of all, it's Ukrainian companies because the the most common question is uh, uh, not how to to get a certain education or how to get information about foreign markets, but how to find potential partner. And our next target audience is foreign companies from European Union, US, Canada, who are interested in importing uh, goods or services from Ukraine and are looking for reliable suppliers because we have uh, some cases where some um, uh, companies from China, China for example, uh, claimed about the um, not uh, not proper behavior of Ukrainian companies. So uh, such uh, uh, unfair companies are, uh, are, are, are can be found in any countries, but this portal would also help to uh, deal with this uh, problem. What are the fun functions functionality? First, with the QR code, you can uh, access the portal right now. Currently, it is operational in test mode. So, if uh, any if any um, errors would be f mentioned, uh, please notice. You could find analytic data on the sector, uh, up to date in use, um, successful um, cases of success, and useful contacts. And now let's uh, let's uh, um, go into detail on each of the points. Uh, the first one is uh, the up-to-date news on foreign economic activities and development of Ukrainian business uh, environment, which would post all the information with regard to any changes related to foreign economic activities. The second item, analytical data on prospective sector. We have collected uh, uh, and assembled all of the information about the prospective sectors in Ukraine. It's machine building, IT, food, organic, organic products, uh, creative industry. We collected this information from open uh, sources and directly from the association that have the reliable information and also from the companies who uh, develop the analytics. Uh, this information is uh, uh, the, uh, updated from regularly and potential importer can uh, see all the available information. The next important point is event in Ukraine. One the, of the objectives of the portal is to promote events in Ukraine, taking place in Ukraine. Before pandemic, most of the events were mostly internal. So it's uh, actually Ukrainian companies establish uh, the contacts, but the, we can um, uh, see the trend that more and more companies come from uh, abroad and we promote cooperation and we can we have a can come in trade mission missions when uh, 10 uh, 15 representatives of foreign companies to uh, come to Ukraine to establish uh, uh, direct relations with Ukrainian companies just one Ukrainian IT company told me that they do not conclude any contract with any foreign um, um, partner before they come to Ukraine and see the the real uh, employees and the culture of the company. And one of the most 
important instrument is sourcing platform. Actually, is the register of Ukrainian companies. The um, usually it is the office for development of. Uh, uh, trade and entrepreneurship. They uh, is the company that receives the request with regard to Ukrainian companies. And, and here, with the online instrument, the importers would be able to see the profile of Ukrainian company, to get the contact dance. Uh, uh, and, uh, and just the, the contact person, but uh, some export manager leaves the company and comes another one. We can, we can, we can, uh, he and we can track the history of uh, the services provided by us. Actually, that's it. I invite all of us to um, use uh, the link and. Uh, 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 and uh, walk around the portal. Thank you, Andrei. I would like to reiterate uh, uh, the invitation for Ukrainian companies. Please uh, come and register on the portal because it is a, a free instrument for establishing uh, cooperation with foreign companies. Our next speaker is Andrei Remisev, and he will uh, tell us about other uh, other uh, options of Dear Business Portal. Good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, Dear Business was mentioned several times today, and uh, it was used to uh, to develop a lot of services for Ukrainian enterprises. In order to to make uh, to, to to start export, we uh, the company has to prepare itself, and within their business project, the, the, you can find a lot of uh, helpful services for Ukrainian companies. You can find about one hundred ideas. Uh, on developing your own business, uh, and if you just uh, have a dream of exporting Ukrainian products abroad, well, you can get about 60 types of free uh, consultations, both for operating and for future businessmen. For example, how to develop business plan, how to develop marketing plan, how to pay taxes, how to enter foreign markets. And all these services are free of charge for Ukrainian companies. And it helps, uh, could help them to, to improve their operations. There are also a lot of many a lot of cases from um, from the existing companies on how to enter foreign markets, how to develop their activities. We also get up-to-date news on, on grants, uh, credits, loans, uh, education programs. So th th there are a lot of services based on this platform for Ukrainian companies. I encourage all of, uh, of uh, Ukrainian companies uh, to enter the platform. You can get uh, free uh, advices, consultations, and uh, get information of education programs. Today we are talking about the English version of the export portal, and I uh, um, encourage all the Ukrainian companies and foreign companies to register on the on the portal, and I also um, ask our Ukrainian embassies to promote this portal abroad because it would help um, cooperation between the Ukrainian and foreign companies. And uh, the more we will tell you about such effective services the more we'll have export import contracts between Ukrainian and foreign companies. Actually, it is one of our major objectives. So my congratulations with uh, this very cool service and uh, uh, our, our gratitude to the ministries, to the foreign donors. And uh, hopefully we will uh, we will have very fruitful cooperation in, in future. Thank you. 
Thank you, Andrei. The single expert web portal was developed on the business uh, platform by the Office for Development of Entrepreneurship and Expert with strategic institutional support of the Ukrainian government, Ministry of Economy of Ukraine, Ministry of Digital Transformation, with the financial support of German government through GIZ. Thank you, all the developers of the portal. Thank you, the Office of the Development of Entrepreneurship and Expert, and for its further improvement. Thank you, all who joined us online just to remind you that you can use the lean expert gov un and imp expert gov dot ua the portal is free please use it benefit from it and promote ukraine abroad